I'm Catherine Chung, Assistant Professor of Pathology and Dermatology from Penn State Hershey Medical Center in Hershey, Pennsylvania. I'm very pleased and excited today to sit down with Dr. Padram Garami from Northwestern University. He is Associate Professor of Pathology and Dermatology and also Director of Melanoma Research at the Northwestern Skin Cancer Institute. Thank you very much. So Dr. Garami, you are very well known in dermatopathology pathology for your contributions uh, in developing fish as a, an ancillary tool in diagnosis of melastic neoplasms. So can you explain some of the basic concepts behind using fish? Uh, absolutely. Um, so when we look at melanocytic neoplasms, the vast majority we can often tell by standard microscopy, whether they're benign or malignant, but there is a subset that even with expert histopathology, you may be unsure. Absolutely. And many of these lesions, although under the microscope may be ambiguous, biologically they may have genetic features such as gains or losses of critical parts of DNA which control the proliferation of the tumor, which we can test for with fish. Using this technique, which is pretty quick and easy and has a pretty quick turn turnaround time, we can look for gains or losses of these critical cell growth um, genes um, such as oncogenes or tumor suppressor genes and see if the tumor has these changes which would help us classify it and predict its behavior as being either malignant or benign. Very good. What are some of the emerg emerging applications of using fish in the setting? So some things that may come up in the future is um, what we've seen is there are certain patterns that we may sometimes see with fish or certain copy number changes which correlate with very aggressive behavior. So we may identify prognostic markers. So what we've been doing so far has been mainly in the diagnostic realm, mm -hmm. but we may also identify some prognostic markers. Uh, additionally, since some of the, the critical genes that we look for amplification or copy number gains in are sometimes drivers of the proliferation, we may find a theragnostic rule. Um, we may find that certain genes may, um, when they're amplified or gained, may suggest that a specific targeted inhibitor may be useful in, in controlling that cancer. Well, that's very exciting. Can you tell us about other uh, molecular diagnostic tools that are being developed in molastic neoplasm diagnosis? Sure. Um, so next generation sequencing is rapidly um, advancing and for melanocytic neoplasm soon we may be able to evaluate uh, a tumor um, for a series of 50 or 100 specific cancer genes with one test and um, that will give us a genetic profile and really help oncologists predict which targeted inhibitors or specific personalized medicine tools may be useful for that patient. Dr. Garami, thank you very much for sitting down with us today and sharing your thoughts. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be here.